Hi kids, um, it's me, your dad. Um, it is Good Friday, March 29th, uh, 2024. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I've made any videos, um, but things around the house nonetheless have not been going smoothly in terms of you keep breaking things. <laughs> so um, I've had to fix several things, um, the mower and the faucet, but I didn't make any videos like I said I was going to. So this is just a recap on fixing the faucet. Um, so on this particular case, we had a customer, a very naggy, pushy customer, complain about her faucet not being able to turn off. Um, let me show you real quick. No, I can't turn it around. Yeah, maybe I can. So basically, every time the customer would turn the faucet off, it would remain on like this. So you'd have to wiggle it and all that jazz to get it to turn off. Well, that's an easy fix. Um, you just have to change out the cartridge of the faucet itself. The problem is each faucet has a different type of cartridge if it is a newer brand. So the first task is to try and identify um, what type of faucet you have. Um, usually there's a marking on the faucet somewhere by a logo or even the name, or sometimes they even have a tag on the supply line underneath that gives the name and the model. Um, fortunately, um, this particular faucet had none of that. Um, so I did a little investigating, found it was a Delta faucet, looked on Google and found the majority of cartridges for that faucet is all the same. Um, also, I read that there was a lifetime warranty on those cartridges. So I called Delta, gave them a picture of my faucet and told them the problems. And sure enough, they sent me a new cartridge um, and I put it in, replaced it in, and I'll fix it. So I just wanted to give a quick video on how to replace the cartridge on a faucet. Um, I don't know how to turn the phone around in the middle of, okay, well, I'll have to do this some other way. Okay. So on your faucet, you're always going to have a hot, cold little marker. Pop that out and there'll be an Allen, a hex nut, um, usually standard size. Pop that out, open it up, and this handle will pop right off. Um, and the cartridge sits right in it. But in order to get the cartridge out, you need to get this lock nut off. And just get a pair of slip joint pliers or channel locks and just wrench it down and unloosen it. Um, you loosen it up and the cartridge will pull right out, put the new one in, tighten everything back up, and you get a faucet that turns off. Um, what's funny about this, though, is your mom was pretty upset. Oh, the naggy, pushy customer was your mom. I'm just kidding. I mean, no, I'm not just kidding. It was your mom, but she wasn't naggy about this. She was pretty upset that I fixed it, though, because uh, she just got a new fridge and she upgraded the handles to be more customized and she wanted to match the kitchen faucet to be like the handles. So, of course, the faucet that she wanted to get was like $800 for a faucet. Um, and since we had a broken one, well, that justified getting a new one. Um, so I replaced the cartridge, which was a hundred dollar part that I got for free. And now we have the kitchen sink that's working or the kitchen faucet that was working again. So even though I fixed it, your mom's still a little upset and I keep looking over my shoulder to see if she's hearing me talking, but I do have a little guy right there. Hi, Granite. Hi. Granite, this is actually for you. This video is for you when you grow up so that you can reference different videos on how to fix things around your house. Pretty cool, huh? So hi, say hi to yourself in the future. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, I'll probably make another little video um, on what I did to get the mower working because it's springtime. And of course, as I went to start up the mower, it didn't work. Um, that was a beast to figure out, but I got it and was able to mow it. I'll set up another video for that one. I'll try and keep these short. I know that first one on replacing the shower cartridge was long. Um, hey, I'm learning at this whole vlog type things. Love you guys. Bye.